What's up, everybody? This is Dr. Ben Lim. Uh, we are about to cross over into the new year. Exciting times, of course. Very nostalgic. Uh, mixture of feelings, I'm sure, uh, as are you. But uh, give me some hearts and likes and share uh, because I have a prophetic word for the new month that's coming up. It's right around the corner. And, of course, uh, for all of you following and watching live now or on the replay, I want to invite you and encourage you uh, to uh, give this Facebook page, this public page, Ben Lim, a like and a subscribe and a follow. And also our YouTube channel, Ben Lim Global. Uh, I appreciate you very much. I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you for uh, you know being a follower, fan, friend, supporter, or even a hater of our ministry. I appreciate all the haters as well. Uh, but uh, I love you. It's been an incredible year, 2021. And uh, 2022 is going to be even greater. Can I get an amen? But uh, I have a prophetic word to share with you for the month of January. Um, so get ready to write some notes. Get ready to receive. Can I get an amen? Well, let me just get into this word here. Thank you for tagging. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for liking. Uh, just appreciate all of you. 2021 has been an incredible year. Uh, but it's been filled with heartache, of course. Uh, you know, 2021 has been uh, a lot of... Uh, mixed things in the back. Who would have known that Joe Biden, you know, fraud, Fauci, and all this nonsense uh, would have taken place? But, uh, you know, I mean, God always has a bigger and greater plan. And nothing is a shock. Nothing is a surprise. And, uh, you know, there's always a greater plan of exposure, shaking, and revelation in the midst of all of this. Amen. And let me tell you, the prophets did not get it wrong. Uh, president Trump still is our president. And to get ready for a comeback. Let's go into the word for tw for the month of January. Lord, I thank you for all of our friends watching right now, all of our constituents. And I thank you for the month of January. My goodness, 2021 just came in one ear and went out the other. It just came out fast like Joe Biden is about to leave. And Lord, I thank you that uh, that 2022, the, the year of the open door and the month of January is going to be an incredible, significant year in Jesus' name. Amen. And hey, I have one more announcement. Um, of course, every year, me and our ministry, we start off every year with 21 days of consecration. Okay, from January 1st to January 22. All right, uh, the Lord has given me a clear word to start every year with 21 days of fasting and prayer where we focus in on the Lord even more. We make Him the one thing. And as we consecrate ourselves, and as we give Him our first fruits of the new year, God will begin to bless us, and God will begin to lather out and pour out His blessings, revelation, power, shatarab, upon us. So if you want to start off the new year with a company, a group of people that are committed to 21 days of fasting prayer, if you want to be a part of this private group, uh, join us. Uh, of course, go ahead and click the link there. Uh, but it's a private group. Uh, it's for free, and we invite you. And every day, uh, we're going to be uh, going over different words and different things as a group, as a community, so that we can continue to encourage each other to start off the new year in the right way. Can I get an amen? Now, some of you, you may uh, be very familiar with the art of fasting. Some of you, uh, you know, may have never fasted before, but uh, if this interests you and you want to go deeper, go higher, go further in the things of God, I invite you, 21 Days of Consecration, join us in this group. Uh, we're all committed together, uh, and we're not doing it religiously, and we're not doing it as some kind of hocus-pocus uh, method. No, no, no. We're doing it because we love God. And we're pressing in to the more of the Lord. Something happens when you give your first fruits to Jesus. And when you collectively come together and say, we're going to consecrate ourselves in the presence of God. Amen. So join us there. And thank you, team, for posting the link there. Anyways, let me go into this word here. January. Praise God. January. All right. So January. And once again, thanks for liking, sharing, tagging. Invite some friends on. Because this is going to be a wonderful word, and I know it's going to encourage you. Can I get an amen? All right. So let me tell you, January is going to be a month of Shavat in Hebrew. Some say Shavat, okay? S-H-E-V-A-T, Shavat. January in the Hebrew is pretty much the month of Shavat. And this word Shavat 
comes from the root word, which means heavy rains. Okay, it means heavy rains. Shavat means heavy rains, but it comes from the word heavy rains, which means strike. Some say strike. Some say God is striking the ground. Okay, so Shavat comes from the root word strike or lash. Like you're getting eyelashes. I'm kidding. You're getting your lashes done. You're you're getting lash like whips, like cords, or there's a striking of the ground. It, it stands for the heavy rains of the month of January. And of course, I'm here in Southern California, and it's raining like crazy. I don't like it, but we need it. Okay. But this stands for a season of heavy rain. It stands for a season of an outpouring. Okay, it stands for the striking. God is striking down your enemies. God is striking down those people that have cursed you secretly behind your back. There's a striking anointing. Strike the land. As many times you struck the ground, O king, with the arrows, is the amount of victory God is going to give you. Now, I believe God's about to give many of you victory in this month of January, but keep striking the ground in prayer. Keep pressing in. Do not be discouraged. Do not be dismayed. It's going to be a new month and a new year. Can I get an amen? So Shavat stands for strike, lashing, and heavy rain. Uh, however, one of the significances of Shavat this month in the Hebrew, is that it is the new year of trees. Some say trees, okay? Some say preach, Pastor Ben, all right? It is the new year of trees. Shavat is, uh, stands for the new year of trees. In fact, in the 15th of Shavat, which uh, is, uh, I believe, around the 14th of January, the 11th or the 14th of January, that is the new year of trees, okay? And let me tell you why this is so important. To the Jewish people, we as human beings, we are counted to be like trees. Did you know that you are a tree? Even your brain is formulated like trees. I love Dr. Caroline Leaf. Uh, you know, she really uh, goes deep into neurology, which is, you know, the study of your brain, uh, you know, of your mind, of, of, of uh, you know, what goes on in the human genetics. Uh, but she also is a woman of God, so therefore she knows how to tie in different scriptural, spiritual principles with being a neurological doctor. But our brains look like they have trees. Even, even our lungs, if you look at the shape of our lungs, it, on the inside the veins look like they're trees. So the Jewish people a note or connotate human beings we are like trees now let me ask you uh, what are the fruits that you've borne uh, what types of fruit uh, have you had in the last season in the last year are you fruity patootie or uh, are you bearing much fruit do you have no fruit or are you fruitful and so in this month of Shavon Shavat excuse me in this month of Shavat this is a month where it's the new year of trees because of all the heavy rain new trees begin to sprout up new trees come on somebody new blessings new vision new glory new miracles new breakthroughs new life and of course i love this passage proverbs thirteen twelve: hope deferred makes the heart sick but a desire fulfilled is a tree of life i feel the holy spirit right now hope deferred Makes the heart sick. Isn't it interesting? I just talked to you about lungs and heart and organs. Makes the heart sick. But a desire fulfilled is a tree of life. So I believe in this month of January, God is going to Shavat. He's going to release so much rain, the outpouring of the presence of the Holy Ghost, that your desires are going to become fulfilled. In this month of January, there's a fulfilling, a fulfillment anointing. You're not going to be empty. You're not going to be in lack. You're not going to be dragging your feet around anymore. But you're going to have a tree of life. Come on, somebody. Now, it's interesting uh, because uh, scholars believe that Jesus is a tree of life. Scholars also believe that the cross is the tree of life. Okay? The tree of death is the tree of life. Right? But... Desires fulfilled as a tree of life. So did you know that you can be a tree of life or a dead tree? 
You can be a tree of life that bears fruit, blessings, joy, a miracles, bounty for the world around you. Or you can be a dead tree. Now, I believe in the season God is cutting the dead trees. He's uprooting. He is pruning. He's cutting. All right? But in the month of January, there's a new tree. Someone say new trees. There's new blessings. There's nutrients, minerals. There's the miracle mercies of God. So in the month of January of Shabbat, there's desires being fulfilled. Can I get an amen? Now, the Jews believe in this month of Shabbat, uh, that this is a month of promises fulfilled, okay? Now, this, this is so good. Now, you follow me here. Are you ready to receive? Are you ready to learn here, okay? They, the Jews believe that there are seven kinds of fruit or seven kinds of miracles for you to receive in this month of Shabbat. So how they celebrate the new year of trees is by enjoying eating these seven kinds of fruit or these seven kinds of miracles. I feel like Sidroth, my dinosaur hands right now. Are you ready to receive seven kinds of miracles right now, okay? But so on the day of the new year of trees, they eat seven kinds of fruit in remembrance as a prophetic uh, act of the new year of the new month of Shabbat of the heavy rains of blessings of the new year of trees of desires being fulfilled so here are the seven kinds of fruit which we find in Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 8 Deuteronomy 8 8 now I love that 8 8 Double new beginnings. Deuteronomy 8, 8. For the Lord your God is bringing you to a good land. Can I get an amen? For the Lord your God is bringing you to a good land. A land of wheat, barley, grapes, figs, pomegranates, a land of olives and dates. Are you ready for a man date? Are you ready for a woman date? Are you ready for a God date? Okay. So these are the seven kinds of fruits or blessings. These are the seven kinds of miracles you're about to step into. Someone say, preach, Pastor Ben. Deuteronomy 8.8, 8, a land of wheat, barley, grapes, figs, pomegranates, uh, of uh, oil, olives, and honey. Okay. So these are seven kinds of miracles you're going to step in in this month of Shabbat. And they celebrate the... New Year of Trees by eating these seven fruits or these seven substances, seven miracles. And I decree, declare these seven things are going to manifest in your life in this month, in this month of January. Now, we, and I mean, all of this stands for commerce and finances, okay? All of this stands for economic harvest, financial blessing. Because agriculture stands for money miracles. It stands for businesses. It stands for the kingdom of God. All right, so wheat and barley stands for bread. It stands for harvest. Wheat and barley. And to the Jews, wheat and barley is the staple product. You know, it's like lamb. It's like cows. It's like, so wheat and barley is the cash crop of the Jews. Of course, you go on to grapes. Stands for new wine. Come on, somebody. New wine, new miracles, new blessings. You go on to figs. Figs stand for strength. Okay, I love figs, you know. Figs stand for strength. Pomegranates, of course, as you know, stands for the Torah because uh, the Torah, what, uh, the law of Moses has, what, 613 laws? And because the pomegranates have so many seeds, many scholars believe that or say that the pomegranate stands for the Torah that's or the law. That's why even on the bottom of the robe of the high priest, you have bells of pomegranates, which stands for the law. However, pomegranates also stand for fertility and multiplication because, uh, because of all the seeds that even helps women in their reproduction and in their health. 
Of course, the land yielding of oil of olives. Olive stands for the anointing. Olive stands for the anointing, stands for the oil, stands for the Holy Spirit. And of course, dates, which stand for the honey. Ooh, some say honey. I shrunk the kids. Stands for the honey, which stands for the goodness of God, the glory of God. Promises fulfilled. So these are seven miracles that's going to manifest in your life this month in January in Shabbat. If you receive it, say amen. Literally, I can see angels dancing right now. Are you dancing in your room, in your car, in your office space right now? I can, I can feel the dancing anointing right now. So these seven kinds of miracles are going to take place in Shabbat, the month of strike, lash, outpouring, r abundant rain. Can I get an amen? And trees of life. So I want to declare and decree three things over your life that you can expect in this month of January. Number one, power. Some say power. January is a month of empowerment. God is going to empower you. You're getting your power back. You're getting your strength back. I know many people, they've been sick, and uh, the devil is a liar. Every variant, every virus, bacteria is rebuked from your body and your family. You spirits of infirmity, be bound in Jesus' name. Hura bara bronda bande. But January is a month of power. Why? Because rain stands for power. Shavat, which is striking abundance of rain. So January is going to be a month of power. You're going to regain power, regain new hope, life, and strength. Number two, January will be a month of promises fulfilled. Because it's a month of trees of life. How many trees of life do you want? June, how many trees of life do you want? Let me ask you, are you a tree of life? Or are you a dead tree? Becky, are you a tree of life? Or are you a dead tree? How many trees of life do you want surrounding you? Let me, let me declare over you. You will only have trees of life. It's time for desires to be fulfilled. Kingdom projects, kingdom assignments. It's time for the word of the Lord to come to pass. And in the month of January, Shabbat, there is a realm that's opened for things to be fulfilled and to come to pass because of the heavy and abundant rain. Can I get an amen? So January is a month of power and it is a month of promises fulfilled. And I decree unto you, it is a month of perfection. So I'll say perfection. Where am I getting this revelation from? Because the seven kinds, seven in Hebrew means perfection, completion. January, God is completing some things, okay? But seven kinds of fruit, seven, for per, seven means perfection, and also the trees. Let me ask you, are trees horizontal, where they, they're laying down, or are they straight up, which stand for strength, stand for righteousness, Stands for justice. Stands for perfection. So in this month of January, God is releasing, raising up perfection. He's raising up a standard. Righteousness. Things are being made right. They're being lifted up. It's being elevated. Things are being straightened up. God is making every wrong thing right. Righteousness. Justice. Perfection. I decree and I declare over you that the month of January is a month of power, promises fulfilled, and perfection. If this bears witness with you, say amen. I want you to pray in the Holy Spirit right now. I pray for the wheat, the barley, the grapes, the figs, the pomegranates, the oil, the olives, the honey, the dates, to touch you, to manifest out of your life in Jesus' mighty name. Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but desires fulfilled is a tree of life. Jesus. Touch their hearts, their minds, their souls, and their bodies. Trees of life. Shalaman the days got a broom, the days got a broom, the man the bed of Bruska. 
Zorra brande resca, brande resca, brande resca, brande resca. Zabarara brora bara bara brande resca, bara brande resca, brande resca. Zorra brande resca, brora basca, brande resca, brande resca. Raba raba rosca, brande resca, brande resca. Raba ba new life, new trees, new righteousness, new standing. Shara brand risk or a brand risk or the risk or a broska. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Someone say hallelujah. Someone say hallelujah. January is a month of trees of life. If you receive it, say amen. Hope deferred makes the heart sick. Oh, Jesus. But desires fulfilled is a tree of life. Are you ready for a garden of trees of life? A church, a business, a company, a cohort. Are you ready for multiple trees of life? I speak life over you, church. I speak life over you in the name of Jesus. Can I get an amen? Can I get an amen? If you enjoyed this broadcast, give me a heart, like, and a share. And remember, do subscribe and follow our, our Facebook page. I appreciate all the love and support. 2021 has been a great, incredible year, but next year is going to be even greater for the glory of God. Can I get an amen? And remember, I want to encourage you, if you want to start off the month of January and you want to start off 2022 in consecration with us and prayer and fasting and you know just pressing into the Lord and seeing miracles do join us in our private group called the 21 days of consecration amen and remember this Monday January 3rd I am doing a free live webinar on 22 prophetic points for 2022 I'm gonna give you the word of the Lord for the year 2022 for the new year for next year. I'm going to give you the word of the Lord. 22 prophetic points for 2022. Amen. Well, thanks for watching. I love you. Bless you. Happy New Year's. It's going to be incredible. And uh, thanks for being a friend, follower, supporter, or even a hater, if that's you. Thank you. I love you. God bless you. Happy New Year. And January Shabbat will be a month of desires fulfilled and trees of life. God bless. Until next time, this is Dr. Ben Lim. Shalom.